Associates. In this video, I'm going to share some tips, ideas, and inspiration to help you with your writing and editing process. Take the five tips in this video and find the bright spots or the growth areas to help you form a stronger writing and editing process. Tip number one, blank pages are the worst. The actual worst. So do anything you can to just get started. Sometimes I like to write the title and my audience statement on the page. And other times I actually do a rough sketch out on a piece of paper and then use that as a guide for my Word document. And sometimes when I'm really stuck, I just free write, kind of giving words to my internal monologue, whatever I'm thinking about the project or ideas that are running through my head to give something to the page. But no matter what, every time I find something to put on that blank piece of paper, that blank word document to get me started. Tip number two, visuals do help us see how our work is going to be organized. And I've tried a few different tools to visualize my papers. Sticky notes are great for this. Oh God. <laughs> Sticky notes are great for this because I can easily rearrange them, add more, throw them away, and stick them to each other. But they do use a lot of paper. So when I don't want to waste as many, I use things like Jamboard from Google, or you could also use Whiteboard from Microsoft 365. There's other apps and tools like Padlet that I've used, and they all do a similar thing of allowing us to organize and just visualize our big concepts, our main themes, our sources and ideas. Tip number three, do an outline. If we build our outlining actually into our writing process, it no longer becomes some sort of extra work, but just part of efficient work. For me, the biggest thing is creating my outline in that same document that my paper is going to be. So that way it isn't something extra, but actually part of how I start writing. The outline process also helps me with that tip number one about just don't have a blank page to look at. Outlines can look so many different ways. And so for me, my outlines that I found most helpful are when I have the headings, you know, the big topics, the subjects, and then I actually write out every topic sentence. That way I can really see how my paragraphs are going to flow together, which ones need to be moved around. And when I do start writing, I have a topic sentence already there waiting for me to expand on. Tip number four, try for small but frequent chunks of writing. Even if it is just one or two sentences that you get while you're waiting for your coffee to brew, you're running in between classes or you're brushing your teeth, try to find ways to sneak a few more words onto the page every day. When I outline my topic sentences ahead of time, it makes the writing in these small chunks really productive because I can open my document and just pick which topic sentence sort of speaks to me the most in that moment. And tip number five, revise, revise, revise. Our first version is never going to be the best version. When revising, I take a break, a few hours, sometimes a whole day. And when I come back, I try to read it as if I'm the audience. I ask myself questions like, what do I mean here? Why is this so spaced out? Is this how you spell that word? I also run everything through the word editor and print it out or save it as a PDF because changing the format and the medium always helps me catch things that I was glossing over in Word. The best writing process is the one that we can stick with and the one that helps us get better words out faster. My writing process flows through those five steps like this. First, I turn a blank page into a loose sketch or idea. If it is more of an infographic, I like to sketch it on a page before starting in InDesign, Canva, PowerPoint, or whatever. If it's a paper, I write the audience statement and my big action summary just to have something on the page staring back at me. Then, depending on how big of a writing project it is, I use sticky notes or a dry erase board. By the way, here's a tip. You can use your markers on a mirror instead of buying a dry erase board for this. But you can do that to visualize all the topics, concepts, sources, or main points. And finally, I get to the point where I create my outline and just expand it. I write in big blocks, but usually not more than 90 minutes at once. And small chunks whenever an idea or sentence pops in my brain. 
And before I know it, the first draft is done and I can get to my favorite part, which is the editing and finding ways that I can improve my draft and make it better. This is where giving it that new format always helps me. I like to actually use a highlighter if I print it out and just mark places that made me go, ugh. Mm. And then I return later to see what should be fixed or what I could do about it. Share what helps you with writing and any of your writing tips. Thanks, associates. Vibes.